Welcome to Apply IT. Google Finance provides formula to find out 52 week low price. But Google Finance does not provide formula to find out all time low price. So finding out all time low price and the date of all time low price require to write a complex formula. So in today's video, we are going to understand how to write a formula to find out all time low price and also to find out the date of that all time low price for a particular script. So let's get started. So here you can see the tracking sheet that we have prepared where we find out all time low price and date of that all time low price for the selected script. So we'll come back to this sheet once we understand the steps that we have to perform to derive the formula that we are going to write in this E3 cell and F3 cell. So let's understand the steps. We go to the second tab all steps. So first we understand the formula to get low price of a particular script between two dates that is from particular date in the past till today's date. How to find out low price so that formula is in this c3 cell now formula in this second sheet are written with reference to the value that we have in the b3 cell which is matching in the first tab with this b3 so later we are going to replace the formula in this e3 cell and f3 cell by the formula that we derive in the second tab called steps so the formula to get low price for each date between two dates is Google Finance. Then, since we are getting records from NSC Stock Exchange, we write NSC colon name of the script. The name of script is written in this B3. In the B3 cell, the scripts are coming from all possible scripts that are possible on NSC Stock Exchange, which is there in this third tab. Now how to generate this drop down how to derive the scripts in this particular tab so those concepts were discussed in our earlier videos you can watch those videos for getting understanding of how to derive it so let's keep focus on this particular problem we use this formula called google finance from this the script name that is present in this b3 cell for that particular script, find out the low price and then we specify the start date. You can see here, second parameter is the attribute that is a low price. Now, this low price attribute we want to get between this start date and end date. So, we specify that the start date is 1st January 1999. That is, this third parameter of this date is the day that is first then the second parameter is the month that is the january and the first parameter is the year we generate date using this date 1999 1 and 1 that is that is first january 1999 so that is the start date i have considered that as a start date because in google finance data for stock exchange of nsc is available from that particular date so from that date till the today's date between these two date we want to get low price for each day so that is what this formula is giving so once we hit this formula it is going to return this whole range so the result will contain two columns one is date column and second is the low column and these are all possible values that get generated due to that formula once we have all this data now from this data we are going to sort this range as per column number two so from this range i want to sort all the records all the rows as per column number two so that is what we do in the second step So that formula is like this. We sort the range 
T3 represents the range that gets generated due to formula that we have written in this C3 cell. So sort that with reference to sorting column, column number 2. And I want to sort in ascending sorting. So that is the lowest price will be at the top, the highest value will be at the bottom. So let's write that. So I just delete this formula so that you can understand that what exactly we have to do. So now I come in this F1 cell, go into the formula bar, say control A, control C, copy that formula, come in this F3 cell, go to the formula bar, then control V. So here we are going to replace in this formula, we are going to replace this C3 by the formula that we have in the C3 cell. So now come to this C3 cell, go to the formula bar, then excluding equal sign, whatever we have. So I press shift and end, then control C, copy the formula, come in F3 cell, replace this C3, delete it and control V. So once we do this, we get all this data, this whole range containing date and price is sorted in ascending order as per the price. So that is what we have indicated using this formula that you sort range that is generated in the previous step. You sort it as per column number two and you sort it in ascending order. So that is step number two. Now step number three is here you can see that in the result of the step number two for certain dates the price is zero. Now we don't know why we are getting price zero but we need to handle this in our tracking sheet. We should not include it otherwise we'll get wrong result that uh, lowest price is zero. So we are going to remove all these records. So step number three is remove all the rows which have price value as a zero. So that is what we are going to do. So the formula is we are going to use a filter function. So filter allows us to filter records based on certain criteria. So the formula is in the filter we specify the range. Now range will be the result of our previous step. So we are going to replace this F3 by the result, the formula that we have in this F3 cell. So this whole formula will take place formula. F3 will be replaced by that copied formula. So this is the range, right? This range I want to filter. Now the second thing is that I want to filter based on which criteria. So the criteria to filter these records will be from this range, whole range, filter it based on value of column number two. So this is my first column of this range. This is the second column of my range. So from that range, I want to filter based on the value in the second column. That is, we select all the rows whose price value is greater than zero. So we want to remove all this. So that formula is here. We filter then F3 is we filter this range and then to specify the criteria for column number 2 we use this index function. So index of this range that is this F3 and row number is we select all the rows and column is column number 2. So that value is greater than 0 only those rows will be selected. So let's write it. So go to the formula bar, control A, control C. I delete this so that you can understand what exactly we are doing. Control V. So now in this formula, replace this F3 here and this F3 here by the formula that we have written in the F3 cell. So I go to the F3 cell, I go to the formula bar, go to the home, exclude this equal sign, then shift and end, it will select complete formula, press control C, then escape, come to this I3 cell, replace this F3 and press now control V, same way this F3, press control V and hit enter.
So now you can see that in the step number three, we have removed all the rows where price value is zero. So these are now removed. Our records are starting with this price in step number three so that we can see here. Now after this, in step number four, from this result, we have to pick up the date that is present in the first row. That is this date we are going to select. So let's understand formula step number four that is pick up the first date. In the same way, we are going to pick up the first price or we are going to pick up the price that is present in the first row. That is this price. So first we write formula for picking the first date. So the formula is like this. I just delete it so that you can understand how to frame formula. So the formula is from this range that is I3 that is the result of the formula that we have in the I3 cell from that range select first row and first column. So we can understand here that from this range select the first row and first column that will give us the date of all time low price. So come to this I3 cell. Now here formula is very long. So I press F2 key. So I will get whole formula. Now from here till end I am selecting complete formula. Then I say control C then escape and now I come to this L3 cell. Replace this I3 by control V. So now we are getting date but we can see here that this date is not in human understandable form. So we are going to convert it into human understandable form in step number five. But before that, let's understand how to pick up the first price that is present in the first row. So formula for that is this. So again, I remove formula from M3 cell. I write that formula. So it's very simple. Now instead of column number one and row number one, we are going to pick up the value that is present in row number one and column number two. So that is what we have written here. Index of I3. So I3 will be the range row number one and column number two. So let's come back to this I3 cell. Then from here select complete formula control C. Come in M3 cell, replace this I3 by the formula that we just copied. So just delete, control V, hit enter key, and that will give us price. So now we have retrieved the date and the price for a particular script, and that price is the lowest price, and the date is the date on which that lowest price occurred. Now the last step is to convert this date into human readable format. So that we do using this two underscore date function. So that is very simple. We just copy that formula. I write that formula here. So now from this two underscore date formula, we are going to put date that we retrieved in the previous step. So date formula in the previous step is returned in this L3 cell. So go to that L3 cell, again press F2, then starting from this till the end, select complete formula, excluding equal sign, then control C, press escape, go to this O3 cell, replace this L3 by the formula that we just copied. So control V, hit enter. And now we'll get date in human understandable format. So we have completed major work. Now the next thing is to use this formula in the tracking sheet. So we are going to pick up formula for the price from this M3. 
and we'll pick up the formula for date from this O3 cell. So let's go to this tracking sheet. So let's understand formula that we are going to write here. So here we check that if B3 cell is not empty, then only generate the result. So formula is if B3 cell is not empty, then we should get the result that is the price using the price formula. If it is empty, then just display the blank space or the empty string. Same way for the date formula, we are going to replace this date formula by the formula that we generated in the second tab that is the steps tab. So let's understand it. Now we go to this steps tab and we'll pick up the formula that we generated for the price. So let's go to this second tab steps and the price formula is here in M3 cell. If I press F2 starting from the first so copy whole formula excluding equal sign then control C press escape come to the first tab tracking a uh, tracking tab and replace this price formula replace this price formula delete it press control V and hit enter key so we'll get price now the same way we can get date also so go to the second tab step step the formula for the date we have written in o3 cell so go to this o3 cell press f2 copy complete formula excluding equal sign control c escape come to the first tab and in f3 cell replace this date formula by the formula that we just copied so we say control v hit enter key and we we'll get date of all time low price now just to understand that how it is going to generate a result for other script we just select this two row control c and for the subsequent rows paste the formula and you'll see that shortly it is going to generate the all time low price and the date of all time low price automatically. So we can see here it has generated the price as well as date for all time low price. So in this way we can generate formula for finding out all time low price and the date of all time low price. The formula is complex but by following step by step and writing formula without any error we can write any complex formula and we can generate desired result thanks for watching and happy learning we'll see you in the next video